Hi guys and welcome to episode 4 of the Road to Glory Wager Showdowns BBVA. As you can see we have a bronze guy and I did promise you that we will be going to get rid of him in the first ep first game of this episode. And it is for Corominas, the guy who has carried us quite a way. So I could do with him back in the team. Also guys, if you want any ultimate team coins, make sure you check out Batelier.com. Their link will be found down below in the description. And remember to use the code Bateson to get 5% discount on your coins. So, with that, let's get on into this and try and get our team to all silver. So the team we come up against is a very nice looking MLS team of para and uh, well yeah just look at it, it's got a few decent players myself, I'm actually looking at it now, Eddie Johnson is going to uh, obviously cause me a lot of trouble, I absolutely hate that guy on this game thanks to Finch, but we do see another top through ball, first time hit from P.A. does make the score 1-0 on the 15th minute and hopefully this game will continue to be the same but terrible error for myself again, pissing around with the ball and uh, obviously Eddie Johnson's going to not miss from there, finesse outside the area, past Pinto who is one of the smallest keepers in the game, now hopefully I'm going to be trying to go and get with a Pinto soon and get a gold goalkeeper because we could do with this but look at this from a hit from Suazo bang right into the top corner and gives us our lead back to 2-1 in the 34th minute also guys if we can try and hit another 3,000 likes this episode on this Friday evening that'll be absolutely insane as we continue to do it all the way throughout the week anyway you guys absolutely love it look at that goal my opposition opponent did score it was um Provan, I think his Twitter handle was, and what a hit it was! Uh, nothing I could do about it. Just smacked it into the, uh, into the towards the area, and did cause a lot of trouble. But this was a very nice goal as well. Uh, ball slotted through, hits both posts, and obviously Rodri. Uh, Porching again does manage to slot into the back of the net to take it back our lead but some nice dribbling from Rodri here does manage to set up our man Q who does get the ball and score on his debut but also seals the way out of the team as well so it's a fairly dominant game 57% possession uh, decent shots on target as well to uh, his not many much so with that we do manage to get a one kit that was actually valued at a one gear I should have explained this earlier so with the wager showdowns, I value a non-rare silver wager at 1k, I value a rare silver wager at 2k minimum, and a non-rare gold is 5k, and a rare gold is 10k. These are the minimum, so if the player is obviously worth more, which uh, Trocker... Trokowski is, he's valued at 8k, so I will uh, claim that as 8k, I'm not going to charge 2k for a player who's not worth that. Um, it's just to keep people enticed into wanting to play because I like having opponents. I like featuring you guys in this series. It makes it more fun playing against subs than it does playing against random people online. And especially as I do trust you a lot playing wages with me and paying up, uh, it's more fun and it involves us all. Uh, if you do want to be part of it, make sure you check me out on Twitter as well. It's at Bateson87. If you do follow me, on there um i'll do tweet out every now and then and you can partake in them so just before half time we did manage to be walking in with a lead well so far he does run on through a delicate chip there from maverick does uh, take the lead take my lead away and gives him uh, the drawback but in the dying moments of the game in the last 10 minutes Suazo does run on through dodges a slide tackle whips it in and obviously Coromines uh, causing some trouble ball bouncing everywhere and the poacher Rodri is there to slot into the back of the net and give us the victory and get the German cam in there so that is Coromines out of the team unfortunately but we might, we, you never know we might see him again in the future it depends if we go for an upgrade um, of of the German guy, he might come in if we lose it. So the next wager we're going to go for is for Pinto. He is a Portuguese centre defensive midfielder, and uh, he was one of the highest rated thumbed up players on Footed uh, in the Silver BBVA. So we're going to go for him just for the popularity of him, and uh, hopefully it replace this current CDM we've got now. So the opponent we're coming up against is J Tully 12, and. Um, he looked quite a solid player, so I knew this was going to be a challenge, especially as I've got a new cam. I wasn't sure how it was going to play, and then I saw the team he rocked up with, which was Emnez up front. Actually, I looked at his team and thought, mm, that's quite a low-rated team, until I saw Emnez and realised how difficult Emnez can be to play against. Um, 
So with that, uh, I was messing around with the ball again in my defence. Keep telling people to kick the ball out and I never managed to do it. So within three minutes, he is 1-0 up. Within uh, 10 minutes, he is 2-0 up. And the game just got from bad to worse. Uh, another messing about with defending. And this was in was in was within 15 minutes. And the ball does bounce out there to Emnez who slots the ball in to make it 3-0. I saw no way back. But luckily in the 23rd minute, we do manage to score ahead of bringing it back to 3-1. In just before half time time we do also manage to get another goal as well and be a causing a lot of trouble and there he is making the run and because he's quite solid as well uh, he can just barge his way through like he does there runs around the keeper and slots the ball in to make it 3-2 so that was the game looking safe for me to be honest but then a nice bit of individual skill from my opponent does cause me a lot of trouble I hate skills can't defend against skills slots the ball into the far post giving him a 3-4-2 uh, lead sorry but the game wasn't over and done uh, we do manage to run down the wing with Rodri causing a lot of trouble managed to cut inside and obviously you can see what we're going to do here we're going to whip it in and uh, obviously Troc scoring I'm just going to call him Troc actually it's easier does manage to make it 4-3 but unfortunately that is how the game stood and that is our second loss of the series now so that guy wins 2k off me and also gives us a downgrade going into the next episode and that is a downgrade of the silver CDM so guys we're going to hit over 3,000 likes that'd be awesome subscribe for more awesome FIFA 14 content. Check out battlelay.com for your ultimate team coins and use the code Bateson to uh, to get some 5% discount. Check out um, g2a.com for your PSN and MSP needs. All the links can be found down below. Subscribe, comment, like and until next week guys have a very nice weekend and we're back on Monday at 9.30 for the next episode.